my artists. Some of you might recognize where I am today. Today I'm working at Blakewood getting the classroom all packed up and I'm also going to be showing you how to make some sculptural sunglasses. So this is my example here. First you're going to pick a theme. So my theme was a spring garden. Yours can be whatever you would like. Maybe it's your favorite animal or a sport you like. But once you have your theme, you're gonna start this project by making a sketch. So I just did a simple pencil drawing of my glasses, thinking about what I wanted to use for the shape of my lenses, what I wanted to use for the shape of the bridge, the part that goes across your nose. The temples are the parts that hook behind your ears. What are those gonna look like? And then um, the frames, the parts that's gonna be cut out. Once you have an idea of what it's gonna look like, you're gonna use a piece of thin cardboard. This is a chunk that I got from an old pizza box. We don't wanna use regular paper that's gonna be a little too thin, but something that's sturdy and easy enough to cut through. To make the shapes of your glasses, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple frame and then how to cut it out. So I'm gonna start by just measuring the size of my face and moving it down my paper. It does not need to be exact. I'm just gonna do two little marks across that size and inside those marks, I'm going to draw the frames of my glasses. And the bridge. Okay, then I'm gonna draw the temples all the way to the edge of my box. They're a little short, you can always make them longer when you cut it out. I'm gonna do two long rectangles to start. I'm also going to add a shape inside my frames where my lenses are gonna be. So I remember that the part I colored in is what's gonna be cut out. Once you have the simple regular glasses shape, you're gonna think about what you can change to fit your theme. So I changed one of my frames into a pot for some flowers and the other one into a watering can. So before I cut, I'm just going to fix those shapes how I want them with my pencil. And make sure you have a nice eraser too. simple changes. When we cut, I'm going to outline with a darker marker first just so you can see it. You don't have to do this step if you don't want the marker to show on your final project. I'm going to cut on the dark blue line and then cut out those two lenses there. Make sure you're being careful not to cut off any of the small shapes you might have that fit your theme. If you have a lot of extra hanging off, it's easiest to cut that off and put it to the side when we're trying to get around small curves. those middle parts, I'm going to either very carefully or with a grown-up's help poke a hole through that lens and then I have a space to cut around that inside part. Or if your cardboard is thin enough, 
you can very carefully bend the edge of the frame and then cut a slip so that you have a hole to cut through. All right, so right now I have my simple glasses shape. I'm just gonna bend those two temples in so I have a part that goes over my ears. And now it's your turn to add your creativity. So some things I added for my garden theme, I used some folded coffee filters to make my flowers. I did smaller details like my leaves with just some simple computer paper I cut and colored. Um, to make the hook at the end of my temple, I added a pipe cleaner, but if you don't have a pipe cleaner at home, you can always cut and add some more cardboard to the edge of your glasses shape. If you do have pipe cleaners, very easy. I just bent and twisted my pipe cleaner around my rectangle shape and then added a hook on the end to go around my ear. You might use different materials at home. Maybe you have some more recycled materials or some more drawing materials for your glasses. It really depends on what your theme is going to be. When I connected some of the bigger things, I used a stapler. It went through my cardboard very easily. But if you have a glue stick or liquid glue at home, that'll work as well. If you have any questions, make sure that you email your art teachers and when you're done, take lots of pictures and send them in Seesaw or Google Classroom. Bye!